We've been using the generalized power rule for integration, but now let's make it rigorous. Suppose I have a function, if I integrate uh, u to the n du, then that's going to be u to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c, provided n does not equal negative 1. We can expand this to a generalized rule if we have a function raised to the power times the derivative of the function, then that integral will be the function raised to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c, again provided n does not equal 1. So let's look at this function here. If um, I'm integrating 3 times 3x minus 1 to the fourth, I'm going, I could multiply this out, but it would be ugly. I'm going to let u equal 3x minus 1, du is 3dx, so there's du. So this becomes the integral of u to the fourth du, or u to the fifth divided by 5 plus c. Next step, plug back in. So this becomes 3x minus 1 divided by 5. This is raised to the fifth plus c. Now for this function, let me let u equal Hmm, what? Now which one of these looks like the derivative of the other? If I let u equal x squared plus x, then du is 2x plus 1. So that right there is, whoops, I need dx. There is du, and this is my function. So this becomes the integral of u du, or u squared over 2 plus c. Plugging back in, x squared plus x squared over 2 plus c. Now let's look at this one. Let's let u, you always want u to be whatever's under a power if possible, x cubed minus 2 du is 3x squared dx. So there is du, here is u, this becomes the integral of u to the one-half du. So this is u to the three-halves divided by three-halves plus c, or this is two-thirds u to the three-halves plus c. So it's two-thirds. Now u is x cubed minus two to the three-halves plus c. Now for this function, we're going to want to do a couple of things. First of all, we're going to let u equal 1 minus 2x squared. Then du is minus 4x dx. So here is du, and I'm going to rewrite this as u to the negative 2 du. So this is u to the negative 1 divided by negative 1 plus c. So it's minus 1 over u plus c. So it's minus 1 over 1 minus 2 x squared plus c. We can also use this for trig functions. Now, whenever you've got 1 raised to the power, you're going to want that to be u. So u is cosine x. du is minus sine x dx. So I need a negative here. I need a negative sine x dx. So I'm going to multiply by a negative on the outside so they cancel. So this becomes minus the integral of u squared du. Because du I need that negative. I need the sine and I need dx. So this is minus u cubed over 3 plus a constant. So it's minus u is cosine x cubed divided by 3 plus c. Now, sometimes you want to use a generalized power rule and sometimes you don't. Let's look at the inside function for both of these. If I were to let u equal x squared plus 1, 
then du is 2x dx. <laughs> now, you can multiply by constants outside of the integral, but you cannot multiply by an x. So we can't use substitution in the generalized power rule for this problem. We would just need to multiply it out. But we could use substitution in the generalized power rule for this problem.